hi guys very good evening to you uh, this video will talk about uh, VBA function and uh, we have a requirement here as you can see here I have got some names in my table and uh, I have first name middle name and the last name so uh, what we exactly want to do is uh, we want to create a function uh, when I say that we want to create a function actually I mean that it should not be an Excel function right if it is available in an Excel that's fine but we want to create our own function right maybe I can I want to create a function by my name you know Ajay maybe you want to create your function by your name right or maybe you know by any other uh, word you know you how you can actually uh, create a function so this video is dedicated to the functions uh, very powerful fun uh, you know feature in uh, VBA and uh, so what exactly we have uh, the task here is uh, we have middle names and we have first name last name you know as I said so what you want to do is you want to actually remove the middle name from this using VBA like this you want to get you know this kind of a output so in Excel there is no direct formula uh, if you actually would like to do it with the uh, Excel you know using Excel functions I'll upload a separate video on that uh, this is going to be my video number 73 so I will upload the another video on the video number 74 and that will actually without the VBA but this is for the all the you know uh, uh, people who actually want to learn uh, VBA and who want to know actually you know what all VBA can do so we'll create a function and uh, I'll name that function as uh, maybe uh, join words join words right this is a function which we are going to create and let's see now how we can actually create the function before that uh, I just would like to tell you that couple of functions which we will be using here in the VBA is INSTR uh, we'll use the left function we'll use the right function and then there is a one more formula which uh, we are going to uh, use is INSTR REV reverse right so this is a more of a mid function uh, if you have if you know the Excel mid function then what exactly it does is it uh, says that from where to where you know uh, start the function and uh, so um, I beg your pardon uh, this is not a mid function but this is uh, th this will actually work like a find function so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the space uh, the very first space and whatever the space I'll uh, you know I'll uh, get from this like in this case the space is the five fifth position so I'll extract all the elements uh, subtracting one from the five so I'll get my Ajay right and similarly I'll use the INSTR reverse function and this will reverse uh, this, th this actually starts from the reverse direction so it will start you're counting from the here and it will find the space and when we find the space we'll just tell them to execute the results right so th these functions are not available in Excel uh, however this is a function which uh, is fine you can find you know in the form of find or search in Excel but this is something very fantastic INSTR reverse you know it actually starts the search from the right side and from the very first so with the combination of these functions I'm gonna in, uh, come to my you know this module and uh, let me quickly set this function and let's start the function function always starts with the you know uh, function word keyword and I'll uh, as I said I'll give the name as join word and uh, that's how so and function will be there now what we actually want to do is we want to create this function so that I can select this cell and that cell will go into uh, this parenthesis and uh, I'll uh, let's say I'll give this variable name as val and what this function is going to do is this function is going to return me the string right because it is going to give me the characters Ajay Kumar, Jason Smith, RJ Smith, Tim Jones and you know so on so that's how in case if you're not aware about the functions uh, you can definitely watch my videos on the function go to my video uh, playlist I'll just show you I have here playlist and click on the playlist over here and uh, you'll come to know uh, you know all these uh, formulas here uh, not the formulas, but the videos actually you uh, have I have uploaded four videos on the conditional formatting access database Excel VBA so what you need to do is uh, search for the v uh, VBA and uh, maybe you can come here excel vba all in one go but it is a you know sum of all the videos so you can click over here a vba video and once you're going to click on the this video let's say i'm going to edit it um, i'll just show you so you have all the videos over here and uh, so maybe you would like to see let's say a couple of videos on the vba how to sum the even numbers how to create your own function to resolve complex problem you know I must have talked about some very difficult situation over here then you have a workbook event selection change more of a function but anyways it's not actually a function but it's a subroutine but you can 
click on the video number uh, you know this 12 and you can watch my video uh, this is a udf function use the define function how you can actually create your own functions so couple of functions uh, again there is one more video vba function avoid text and some numbers only in case if you have a list where you have the numbers and the text and you want to sum only the numbers how actually can you do that right so that's how uh, you can prepare these all uh, functions so it will give you a very good understanding so here again we are actually going to create another function so i'll uh, declare first uh, my variables first name as string and name as string because these are the variables which are going to hold the value now what i will do is i will say that f name equals to right now before i start i just want to quickly tell you what exactly is going to happen so i've created a join words function so if i say equals to you can see here that this function has started appearing here now right this is not an excel function so what i want to do is the moment i select this function and i pass in this uh, you know ajay k kumar into this parameter and i press enter whatever the value this a2 holds it is actually going to pass on to this parameter val right so that's why we are using this function right and we are using this uh, you know parameter in this function now f name would be equals to what f name would be equals to uh, in strings class i have the function called the left so um, i'll say that start from the left and uh, string would be val right which is this because obviously ajay k kumar would come here and uh, so how do i actually find this i want to find this length till the first space in the string right so for that i have a function called instr which is kind of a find function if you are familiar with the find function in the excel this would be very easy but otherwise i can explain what is the parameter start i want to start it from the very first what is the second parameter string one string one means uh, where exactly you want to start what is that text so my text would be val right because in that val i have a name as ajay k kumar and then in string two uh, i would like to search for this for the first space and that's how you actually can write the function right so let me just close this and similarly i'm gonna find the last name which is again a strings dot this time i'll use the right function and in this val the value ajay k kumar and but this time around what i'll do is uh, i actually want to do one thing i want to calculate the length of this entire cell right so i'll use the length function and in this length length function uh, i'll pass on this val parameter so that i'll get the length maybe the length would be i think 10 13 13 would be the uh, characters which i have in this first cell a2 a ajay k k kumar so i'll get those numbers and then i'll subtract that number from the position where i have my second space right so ultimately what will happen is ajay space k and space will be removed from that and i will be left with kumar right so in order to start my search from the reverse direction from the kumar uh, i'll use this function instr rev what it says string check so which string actually you want to check so obviously i am interested in uh, you know checking the val and what exactly string match as string so what that means which string actually you want to check there so i want to find the space and then the last parameter uh, though it is optional you can even uh, you know uh, just omit it ignore it uh, by default it will take this minus 1 but i'm going to write it so that you should understand uh, that minus 1 means that this function uh, you know should start searching for the space from the reverse direction right from r right generally when you start the function when you start anything finding in excel when you use search or find function it is always it always starts with the first character but in this case in vba i have a function instr rev which is reverse of this instr which can start its search from the right side which means that from the extreme right side r right so that's why i'm going to write minus 1 rest of the options not required so i'll simply say you know that's it i'll not actually get those things so now the next point which i want to do is now this is how you write your function in order to get the value in order to retrieve the value of your function that's my function name and i want to concatenate these two variables like this okay so just give the space and that's it i think that's 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 enough right so let's understand this now how these you know things are going to happen so 
let me just press put this break code since it cannot be debugged because if it doesn't work on the function function returns values so you really can't run them you know like this if by pressing f8 or step into what you need to do is uh, I just write the formula this join words and I'll select this and I'll press enter and now this function is going to start right so as you can see here and this VAL my function has already taken this Ajay K Kumar and this will be now used in the entire function so everything is defined now f name equals to strings is a class in this class I have function this left and this val is now Ajay K Kumar so in Ajay K Kumar I have to actually find this space so my space position as you can see here it clearly says equals to 5 why because I have said that in this INSTR function that start from the first position and go in this Ajay K Kumar and this is what actually you got to find it out so this function has you know uh, gone into this Ajay K Kumar and you know found this space on the position of 5 which is correct right Ajay and then at the fifth position I have this space so it means that from the left now wherever the first space would occur for the rest of the values as well I'll get this Ajay only because by this parameter will have now space if I press F uh, F8 again and now you can see that F name has you know is holding up Ajay only right reason being because I said that start from this cell and return me the value 5 right so from Ajay space K space Kumar it has returned me the first 5 characters which is Ajay right and of course the space is there but that's fine with me because um, I really don't want to use that uh, or maybe I can actually subtract minus 1 from it but we'll see see to it later however let's if we get the problem we'll see to it uh, but for now it seems like as I can you know see here in the local window this gives my name Ajay okay now let's understand this last name L name uh, I have a write function involved here and in this again the same parameter val I have used uh, so I'm here uh, you know what the trick I have used here is I've calculated the entire length of this function which is 12 number of characters in this Ajay K Kumar including spaces is 12 so this that's my 12 length and over here what I have done is uh, I have calculated the space from the reverse direction that is why I have used this function so it means that if I simply select this entire thing okay and let me just add the watch here so that you can see what value exactly it holds you can check here that in my watch it gives me 7 so 7 start from the R A M U A K 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 right so it is going till 7 right so what it means is that it is actually now finding the position of your this first uh, space from the right side remember guys I'm repeating this again it is going to find the first space from the right side right or in this particular example it is going to find the space if you start walking from the left it is going to be the second space you know after k so it has got this 7 value and uh, now let's come back to this now this 7 will be subtracted from this you know the length which is here 12 so 12 minus 7 will give you what 12 minus 7 will give you of course 5 and 5 is exactly your you know the number of characters available in the last name which is K-U-M-A-R so that's the technique actually which we have used here and when I press F8 this L name which is now showing empty it will get my this Kumar name and then join words that's my function name as I said this would be equal to concatenate of F name and L name so there is no middle name actually here so what we have done is and press enter you'll get the name here right so drag this formula down and let's see if we are able to get there right so now this is on the F8 mode let me quickly press continue and we'll get the values here alright so we have got all the names let me show you once again let me just remove this break code maybe I know you might have confused at what happened actually I was using the break code so that's why so now you drag the formula and you'll get the output 
isn't it wonderful that's very nice you know and even you can create your uh, this function by your name as well you know you can say that like something like this ajay and then enter this parameter and then just enter and it will work for you right so what you need to do is you just uh, need to you know actually whenever i makes uh, such great functions i'm very fond of you know writing my name so that uh, you know people who use this function they'll always remember me you know for my good work so that's why <laughs> i love using my name right but anyways that's just a it's just a joke uh, i just wanted to actually show you that how powerful the vba is uh, who knows that you know you can even create the function by your name right as if like you're a partner with the microsoft excel and they, <laughs> they have given you special you know space in the excel so that's all guys you can use this function and uh, let me just drag this so this is not now this is giving the error because this function is no more existing but you can create you know i would say uh, don't create functions by your name uh, create something sensible like we have created uh, you know this is just to actually for for the demonstration purpose um, <laughs> on a lighter note but otherwise you create functions like you know join words or maybe concatenate uh, concatenate is already available in excel but you can maybe say that concatenate words and you know or maybe uh, removing middle words you know something remove uh, middle name something like this and you know the person can select this so you just need to do again the same thing which is uh, just simply say here remove middle name and here pass on this remove middle name right so now when you come back here simply when you going to write this function remove middle name so when you write these functions it will actually going to remove this middle name right so it makes sense you know so that's it for now uh, and uh, video number 74 would talk about the excel if you if if you are somebody who really don't want to learn vba because that's not something your area of interest or maybe not area of your you know maybe your career de doesn't demand this kind of a programming language that's fine uh, this is just for the sharing purpose right if you like it you can use it if you don't like it it's always good to get the knowledge so i'll upload the next video video number 74 uh, the same task and how you actually can achieve it in the excel right i hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and that's my email id uh you can write me an email and you can discuss your problems there right i'll definitely go ahead and i'll upload the video and share it with you thank you so much guys have a very wonderful weekend bye bye